Hi everyone, it's Tara Bianca with Be Light Transformative Therapy. And today I wanted to do another quick and perhaps a little bit odd bodywork technique with you. Today we're going to focus on the upper ridges of the eyes and also the forehead. This is my go-to technique whenever I have a really bad frontal headache, whenever I have motion sickness, whenever I'm feeling dizzy or nauseous. This is something that really helps to give me some quick relief. This is definitely not something that I practice as a preventative measure. This is for acute, active, tension, headache, pain. Let's check it out. Okay, so we're basically going to focus on one technique today, which is to pick up and roll the tissue. Sort of like a skin rolling technique. Now, this might not be for everybody, but for me, when that tension headache comes on, this is the only thing that helps to break it up. So if you find yourself in that position ever, I invite you to at least try it, explore it, and see how it feels for you. Okay, and my last warning is this is not gonna look pretty. We're really gonna be pulling this flesh all along our eyes and our forehead. So again, as usual, I'm happy to look like a total goofball for you guys if it helps. So we're gonna start with our, our thumbs and our fingers. We're gonna be grabbing the tissue and just kind of mobilizing like this. We're gonna work all along the eyebrows. We're gonna do both at the same time and we'll highlight maybe three points. You're gonna get the most bang for your buck in the center closer to the bridge of the nose. So I just grab it and I literally pull, sort of like creating that kind of Neanderthal sort of ridge, right? Creating that excessive eyebrow ridge. And I literally am distracting the tissue off the bone. So I'm pulling the tissue off of the bone. So I don't know if you can see, I'll come down this way. I'll come up this way. And I'm pulling a little off, and then I can also pull the tissue down towards my nose. I can try to pull the tissue up towards the top of my head. And I'm just kind of grabbing and moving it around, kind of like Play-Doh. Right, you can slide through it, you can just stay there and hold and breathe. And when the tension headache is really acting up, this is where you usually feel it the most, is in this center part of the forehead. Okay, and then kind of moving out a little bit, kind of mid-eyebrow now. Again, I'm grabbing, and I'm pulling the tissue down towards my eyeball. And then I can pull the tissue up away from my eye. I can pull the hands apart from each other, kind of sliding a little. I think this is really nice too, again, if you've been spending a lot of time just staring at the computer, staring at the phone. All those muscles around the eye get pretty exhausted, pretty frozen in one place. Good. And again, you can kind of, we call this like milking. <laughs> you can milk the tissue. Good, and we're gonna take one more point. So I'm moving out a little bit more. To me, it gets more sensitive and more kind of delicate out here. I don't love to put as much pressure. There's not as much meat to grab onto out here. So I'm a little bit more sensitive here, a little more gentle. Just kind of folding the skin on itself like this. So I'm still on the eyebrow. And I can go out and in. I can go up and down. And gently manipulating the tissue. And I'm just doing one more pass now, kind of working over that whole eyebrow. Okay, so now I'm at this outer part of the eye, right? And if you feel here, okay, there's like hard bone, right? You have this soft thing that we kind of refer to as the temple, but then you'll feel, oh, there's this hard bone here. That's the edge of your frontal bone, of your forehead bone. You'll feel it's kind of on an angle like this. So I like to take my thumbs and I like to start right on that edge and kind of 
push down off of it into the temple. So I'm pushing in and sliding down off that bone. Usually the edge of that frontal bone, again, if you have an active headache, is so painful. And this really helps to break some of it up. So I'm moving my way up. I'm going to work my way up and down this diagonal, right on that edge. I'm just sliding off of it, pushing in and sliding down, pushing in and sliding down, pushing in and sliding down, working my way up and then working my way back down, pushing in, sliding down. So the pressure is this way always to begin and then sliding. Let's do another couple passes here. So this one I find feels really good even when you don't have a headache. There's almost always some tension here. Mm. So I'm working toward the hairline and that's about as far as I'm going today and then I'm coming back down toward the corner of the eye. Great, good. Okay, so now let's continue on with our picking up and rolling kind of technique. We're gonna go right to the center, right on the bridge of the nose. I'm gonna grab that tissue and I'm just gonna pinch it. So I'm pinching between my um, thumb and my index finger, picking it up and pinching it. And I'm kind of moving it side to side. Mm. So I don't know how to shoot this for you. Maybe you can see it better if I uh, lean forward. All right, so I'm grabbing that tissue, pinching it and kind of mobilizing it one direction, mobilizing it the other. You can even get both hands involved, right? Really grabbing that tissue. I don't know how to film this guys, but I'm literally just pinching that skin in the middle of my face, I'm doing this, and I'm dragging it side to side. So when I grab with two hands, I can just grab more tissue. Pinching, mobilizing it to the right, mobilizing it to the left. Okay, I'm just gonna keep that top hand there now so that you can see, I think, a little bit better how I'm gathering the skin, right? Yeah, that I think you can see. Pinching and pulling one side, pinching and pulling to the other side. Mm. Okay, so now we're gonna do that same kind of picking up, pinching and rolling, but we're gonna do it uh, across two separate lines. So we're gonna go just a little bit above the eyebrow, maybe three or four points. It depends on how much tissue you're actually able to pick up and also how broad your forehead is. And then a second line a little bit above that, again, working three or four points, pulling our way across. I'm gonna start on my left side for no particular reason. So again, I'm gonna start right in the corner, right where the eyebrow meets the bridge of the nose. And I'm gonna just pick up and pull this area. And I'm just gonna pick up, so you see, you can really see how it pulls into my eye, into my nose. I told you it's not pretty, but it definitely feels very relieving in an active headache. Oh, so I'm picking up, maybe you can see it from this angle, and I'm pulling it this way. And I'm picking it up and I'm pulling it that way. All right, so I'm grabbing it so that it's kind of vertically oriented right now. Before we were working horizontal, and now we're working vertical. And now I'm gonna just move my way over a little bit, kind of center of the eyebrow, pick up that skin, and I'm gonna move it this way. And I'm gonna move it this way. And when you lose your grip, just re-grip, re-grab. Right. Again, I'm thinking about picking that tissue up off the bone, creating some space. And now I'm moving a little bit more laterally. So this is sort of my third point. And I'm mobilizing this way. And then I'm picking it up 
and I'm going to mobilize it that way. Mm. And again, I don't do this as a preventative technique between flare-ups. It does feel weird to move your skin around like this, but again, when you're in pain, this is... It. It's so amazing. Okay, and I'm taking one more spot. I'm moving out a little bit more. It's sort of my fourth spot on that first line that we're doing. Okay, so that's line number one. And now, same thing. We're just going to go up a little bit. So just trying to get a little bit higher up on the forehead. You're kind of getting mid-forehead. When you start to go up too much higher, it's almost impossible to grab the flesh up there. So you can see it pulling. <laughs> Very beautiful. Good. So this is point number one in this second line. And I'm just grabbing it. And I'm mobilizing it one way. Here it's already harder to grab onto. Sometimes I take the second hand to reinforce. And to kind of get a better grip. Right? So I'm just trying to take more skin in my fingers. You have to kind of explore what works for you. Some people's skin is very adhered to the bone. They don't have a lot of mobility. It's almost impossible to pick their skin up, so this technique won't work so well for you. I'm on point two right now, just working across this second line. And every time I pick up, I'm thinking about just pulling the tissue away from the bone and mobilizing it in either direction. And I'm moving my way to the third point, picking up, dragging that tissue. I'm moving a little faster across the second line because it's harder to hold the, hold the tissue. Just move faster. And maybe one more. Fourth point. Mm. Yeah, I've actually never done this in a in a situation where I don't have an acute headache. So this is very interesting for me too right now to do it at a time when I don't have a headache. It actually feels really nice. Okay, great. So that was the left side. Let's go to the other side. So we're going to do about four points working along the uh, first line right above the eyebrow and then another four points a little bit above that. So starting really close to where the eyebrow meets the bridge of the nose, picking it up. I think this angle is probably the easiest to see. You can see how the skin is being gathered in this kind of vertical longitudinal orientation. And so closer to the nose is where you can pick up the most, right? You can really grab it. And I'm thinking about oh, pulling it that way a little. And I'm thinking about pulling it that way a little bit. And so my skin is a little slippery today. I can't get a good stick. That's okay. If you slide off, just re-grip and go again. So now I've moved over a little bit, picking it up, and I'm trying to traction it this way. And I lost my grip. I'm going to re-grip, and I'm going to try to traction that way. <sighs> I feel my shoulders creeping up towards my ears. I'm trying to get those down. Moving my way out, I'm kind of in the middle of my eyebrow now. Picking it up, tractioning it one way. Picking it up, tractioning it the other way. Mmm. Mmm. And then one more. I'm kind of glad we started to do this bodywork series. It's fun for me too. It feels real good. Picking it up, tractioning one way. This will be our fourth point on that first line. Again, you can break it up however you need to, depending on the size of your forehead and what's going on for you. Hmm. Okay, so that's line one. So now let's do a second line, just a little bit above that, three or four points, whatever you can grab. It's a little bit harder to grab here, so then we go a little faster, because there's not as much tissue to grab. 
So picking it up and pulling it a little bit, you can see clearly, pulling it a little bit in one direction, picking it up and pulling it the other direction. You guys are going to see the next time you have a headache, a frontal headache like this, you're going to be amazed. <laughs> I mean, it's painful then too. You have to kind of work through the pain, but it really helps to break it up. So here I slide off more easily because there's not as much tissue to grab. Just working the best you can. Pulling. Picking up. And dragging, dragging in both directions, and maybe one more spot, picking it up, and I'm pulling, and I'm picking it up, and I'm pulling this way. Great. Good. Okay, so then the other thing that I like to do, and this can be really uncomfortable, but um, we've got a spot right here, right in this orbital ridge, right in the bony ridge of the eye. Um, you can either use your thumbs, or sometimes I just take my fingers, um, and I'm gonna just, so I'm ba balancing on the bridge of my nose, on that nasal bone, and I'm keeping my fingers very rigid, and I'm dropping my head forward onto my fingers. So my elbows are relaxing against my torso, my arms are stabilized, my fingers are rigid, and I literally voluntarily drop my head down onto my fingers. Mm. So you can use index fingers, or you can try it with the thumbs. So sometimes I have to brace on my forehead when I do this one, and the direction is I'm going up into that orbital ridge there. So today I'm feeling better using my fingers, but you could play around with your hand position. Mm. This one can be pretty painful, but very relieving when you need it to be. And then you can sit there with your weight just resting on your fingertips, or you can just do a little bit of Mm, my fingers are now scooping out that area from the nasal bone up to the orbital ridge, scooping it out. And again, I can use my fingertips or I can use my thumbs to scoop. Mm. Just doing it a few times. Maybe two more. Mm. Great. Awesome. Okay, and then to end that series of picking the skin up and moving it around, um, I, I kind of like to iron it all out again. <laughs> That's just me. I like to end kind of ironing and flattening everything back out. So the technique that I use for that is a little bit of a strain counter strain with a little bit of range of motion. So just watch and, and try to copy. We're gonna do four distinct lines. We're gonna do one line up the center, and then using both hands, we're going to do one line next to that, a third line, and a fourth line right along that frontal bone ridge, that same ridge that we were working before. So I take either hand, I take the flat palm part, and I keep my hand open. I place it right at the bridge of the nose, right at the bridge. And I'm pressing in, melting into my skin this way, and then up, so up this way. So I'm creating a drag upward. And now I just open and close my eyes. And I take my eyebrows with me a little bit. And I let this movement of my eyes shutting and my eyebrows slightly descending be the thing that drags my hand. Right, so my hand is just creating inward pressure and every time I do this, my hand moves up. So I'm going straight up the center. Good, then I take both hands, I do the same thing. So now this is my line right here, right from the where the eyebrow meets the bridge of the nose. That's where I put my intention. I'm kind of using this part of my hand, this ulnar border of my hands. And they're melting in, they're upward with their intention. 
my eyes are open and as I close my eyes and drop my eyebrows, my hands start to slide towards my hairline. Good. Then we're going to do a third point, kind of center of the eyebrow. Again, same thing, pressing in, upward intention. My eyes are open, my eyebrows are a little elevated, and then I close. My palms are just keeping inward pressure, pressing directly into the forehead. And as I close my eyes and lower my eyebrows, that is what causes my hands to move up towards my hairline. Good, we'll do one last one along this ridge, right where you feel the edge of the frontal bone. So more in a diagonal now. So hands are pressing in this way and a little bit of this intention. Pressing in with a little bit of backward intention. And as I shut, as I squeeze my eyes closed and drag my eyebrows down, that is what makes my hands slide. Awesome. How do you feel? What did you think of that session? Did you enjoy it? Did you not enjoy it? Did you actually have a headache going into that session? Because that's really the optimal time to practice this. And if so, did you actually manage to get a little bit of relief from your symptoms in practicing this technique? Please leave any and all feedback in the comments below. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. Also, please be sure to check out my totally free Breath Basics six day challenge, my next four week breath boot camp, which is coming up in March, and I'm offering my YouTube viewers a 20% off discount with code BOOTCAMP20. And also check out my private online Be Light community. And if you'd like to donate to my channel, you may do so by visiting my Buy Me a Coffee page. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.